Someday we'll get paid for this. It's time for This Week in Weed. The Santa Ana winds are blowing good news in this week from the left coast. Pro-pot activists in California have gathered more than enough signatures to place an initiative on November's ballot, which, if passed, which I know it will, would make legal the recreational use of marijuana for adults. <laughs> Meaning, this whole charade of going to the doctor and feigning illness just to cop a lid of sticky icks while on the way to hacky sack practice will no longer be necessary. <laughs> Meanwhile, cash-strapped states across this great land of ours are considering stopping the reefer madness in their own backyards with hope of cashing in on newfound revenue streams in the form of taxes on pot sales. <laughs> Aren't we taxed enough already? A, a recent poll found that more than 50% of voters in New York favored marijuana policy reforms. Last week, the state Senate Codes Committee approved a bill that would allow doctors to prescribe up to two and a half ounces per day to patients. That's... Sounds like a pound of weed a week. Whew. State Senator Thomas Duane, a Democrat from Manhattan, said, it's the right thing to do, and there is revenue attached to it. Not surprisingly, GOP lowlifes are sticking to their buzzkill stance that marijuana is a gateway that only leads to harder drugs, atheism, bad worth, ethics, sexual deviancy, and a strong aversion to armed conflict in Muslim countries. And that ain't, you know, nothing, you know, and I had some guys around to love me out of it, and I was lucky. We gotta just let it all be, because it all will be however it's gonna. While dressed in hippie garb and yucking it up with the cast from the Broadway musical Hair, I shit you not, New York City Mayor Michael Bloomberg stated this past weekend that if faced with a legalization measure, he would most certainly vote no. Why? Get this. He says it's because today's marijuana is so much stronger than the fart dust he smoked himself silly on as a youngster. And that, my friends, just goes to show you that even all the money in the world won't buy you smarts. As my good friend Cody Chestnut used to sing, keep on living, keep on loving, and keep on smoking together. I'm A.P. Ticker, and this has been This Week in Tweed. Keep on living, keep on loving, keep on smoking. Keep on loving, keep on living, keep on smoking.